This is my gaming setup. Right now, it is super messy, and honestly, it just needs a lot of work. It didn't always used to look like this, though, because about a month ago, I completely transformed this old boring setup into my dream gaming setup. So in this video, we're going to be transforming this messy setup into my dream gaming setup. We immediately hit the road to go pick up some stuff for the transformation, and our first stop of the day was Ikea. Now, this was my first time in Ikea, and I really didn't know what I was doing, so I kind of just looked around. So far, not much luck, guys. We're looking for more of lighting and like greenery stuff for the shelf. But yeah, so far, no luck, but we might find something. Eventually, I found this lamp that I thought would go really well with the setup, so we went ahead and went to the warehouse to go pick it up, and then we checked out. After we had finally left Ikea, we decided to go get some lunch. I'm not gonna lie, this place was super good. And on the way home, we decided to stop by Best Buy to just look around. And while I was looking around, I ended up finding this MacBook that I really liked. So we ended up leaving Best Buy with a brand new MacBook. And after our shopping spree was over, it was finally time to head home to start doing the transformation. Ugh. All right, guys, we are finally back home from shopping and picking up all the stuff that we needed to pick up. We got our lamp from Ikea. We got our brand new MacBook that we just picked up from Best Buy. We got these curtains that we picked up from Target. We got some leftover vines from my last video when I transformed my bedroom. I really liked how these turned out in my other room, so I figured I'd put some in here as well. And then finally, we got these Govi RGB strips that we're gonna be putting all around the ceiling of this room. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and unbox is this lamp that we have right here. All right, guys, we got the lamp fully set up now. As you can see, it's actually really, really bright. It's a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be. All right, guys, now that we got the lamp completely set up, it's time to head on to the next thing that we're gonna be upgrading in this setup. And the next thing we're actually going to be upgrading is our keyboard. I've been using this Razer Black Widow V3 keyboard for about like two years now. Honestly, I've had no complaints except for that it's really big and also it's really loud. But yeah, guys, that is going to lead us into the sponsor of today's video. And now a word from our sponsors. My friends over at Leobog were nice enough to send out a new keyboard for me. So thank you guys so, so much for sending out this keyboard to me. So let's go ahead and unbox this K81 keyboard and review it so you guys can see what it's all about. So like I said, this is Leobog's K81 keyboard and it is beautiful. All right, guys, now that we have the keyboard fully unboxed, we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the PC. Dude, I really gotta fix these cords. Coming in at $120, this mechanical keyboard contains linear ice crystal switches, which I think look absolutely amazing. This keyboard also has dynamic RGB lighting with a bunch of different color modes to mess around with. By long pressing this button right here, you can also switch between office mode and game mode. So when it's solid like this, you know you're in office mode. Then if you hold it down like so, you're officially in game mode. And then if you just short click on this, you can change between all the different color modes on here. So for this one, you just press a button and it'll pulse like so. But yeah, guys, I have to say, I am thoroughly impressed by this keyboard. So thank you once again, Leo Bog, for sending out this keyboard. But anyway, guys, now that we have the keyboard officially set up, let's head into the rest of the transformation. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of building the setup. Yesterday, we got a lot of stuff done, and today we're gonna finish out the setup. We're gonna be putting up my LED light strip on my ceiling and just some other decoration pieces. So without further ado, let's hop into finishing the setup. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is putting up new LED strips. I got these strips off Amazon for like 15 bucks, and they kind of broke like within a week. So they've kind of just been sitting here, and I thought it was finally time to replace them. So as you guys know, I really like Govi LEDs. So we're gonna go ahead and put these LED strips up all around the room. But first, let's go ahead and take down all these old LED strips. As I was peeling off the strips, I noticed that the paint was starting to chip, so I knew I had to be careful. As you can see, guys, we got all of the old LED strips down from the ceiling. So now let's go ahead and put up the new ones.
All right, guys, we got the LED strips fully put up on the ceiling. So the only thing left to do is test them out. So let's try them out in three, two, one. Dude, this actually looks insane. My room actually looked so boring before and with these lights, I think it just pops a lot more. This is definitely one of my favorite things I've added to my setup. It only costed like 20 bucks on Amazon too, so make sure to pick these up on Amazon. All right guys, now that we got the LED strips put up, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next thing. I'm really quickly gonna put up some of the vines that I got on the shelf. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, guys, so as far as the vines, I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. I just got like two strands on the side of the shelf. I might eventually add more, but I don't really wanna overdo it. So this is what we're sticking with for right now. All right, guys, now we're just gonna add on a couple finishing touches. I'm gonna straighten up my cables a little bit because my cable management right now is really bad. But other than that, we're just gonna add a little few other things around the setup, and then that should do it for the transformation. But make sure to watch the end to see the full transformation. All right guys, so we kind of cleaned up the cables a little bit. In the future, I definitely want to get a wireless mouse so it's just one less wire that's going across the desk. But honestly, I don't mind the wire on this keyboard just because the keyboard looks so good. And then also the audio interface back here, the cables aren't that obnoxious. But we kind of installed like some Velcro loops as you can see right there, just to kind of hide the cable some more. But yeah, the cables underneath are still really atrocious. So I think what I'm gonna do for that is in a future video, I'm gonna put like some of those cable nets underneath the desk. But for now, it doesn't really bother me. It's just kind of like it looks a little messy but yeah we'll fix that in a future video the next thing i did was set up this docking station from tobin one i'll be reviewing this product in a future video so make sure if you guys are interested stay tuned and finally the last thing i did was change the wallpapers on my monitors to match the more of a purple theme and there we go guys we officially have everything done in the setup compared to how this looked at the beginning of the video this looks so so different but honestly i'm really glad how it turned out but yeah guys this was a crazy transformation but anyway guys before i roll the montage i'd just like to say thank you for watching if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to like and subscribe we're on the road to 2k and we're really close so let's try to get there and also if you guys want the chance to be featured in a future video i'm gonna have my discord server in the link below i'm gonna be doing a video in the future showcasing all of your guys's gaming setups so if you want a chance to be in that video make sure to head down in the description click the link and join the server anyways thank you again for watching and i will see you guys next week for the next video peace So I'll tell you pretty lies There I promise there won't be another time I said I can't never go and make